My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Two guns. How are you? Those are my hands. Jim. Zach. I'm doing all right, man. We're at the Sports Equinox. Only game of the year where there's every sport playing, so that's pretty cool. The Sports Equinox. All four leagues. Only day of the year they play tonight. MLS actually has a... <laughs> hockey. <laughs> that's what the soccer fans will tell you. Do, 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 do. Now you don't even need the music. Let's go to the sports. Jimmy, it's the World Series. <laughs> and art imitates life, this World Series, Jim. My Arizona Diamondbacks, see in the pool Wednesday. Uh, they're just doing the same thing they did in 2001. Same exact thing. The dead bird is very freaky to me. That's crazy. Gallon hit a bird. We covered it on Weekly Dumb. Obviously. But Zach Gallen baseballed a bird, uh, taking after. It's, wow, Diamondbacks was. Oh, uh, what team was Randy playing for when he did it? Two thousand one, Diamondbacks. Yep. The Diamondbacks kill birds. In two thousand one, Randy Johnson hit a bird. We're some people's news. A lot of people don't know what right. we're about to say. The two times a pitcher has hit a bird midair. It's been an Arizona Diamondbacks pitcher, and they go to the World Series that year. The World Series dates are the exact same, and uh, the All-Star Game was in Seattle. One time in high school, I found out about how Kennedy had an assistant named Lincoln, and Lincoln had an assistant named Kennedy, and blah, 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 and I told my history teacher, and he was like, yeah, you could find stuff like that for anything, and just shit down my throat. But I like the bird one. That's crazy. It's only happened twice on camera. What was this almost a breakdown you were telling me about from the motherland? This almost a breakdown is awesome. This guy is windsurfing? Kayaking? He's not windsurfing. Kayaking. Definitely not kayaking. He's definitely not kayaking. He's windsurfing. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Windsurfing. Anyway, his name is uh, Jason the Jaw Breen. Ten. The Jaw sounds like a guts nickname to me. Like, I am so torn up. Is that actually his name? Or because he got attacked by a whale? Are they calling him the Jaw? He got hit by a whale, Jake. He's got his GoPro on him. The whale comes and body slams him. And then tugged on his rope, his leash to his thing, which is supposed to never break. It's designed to never break. And was dragging him to the depths of the ocean. And then it broke and he got free. And he comes up and his first words are... I just got hit by a whale. 100% accurate by Jason the Jaw Breen. Uh, number one reaction you could have. Yeah. I do like that you say, you know, the ropes aren't supposed to break. Unless a whale's tugging unless on Unless a whale's tugging on your rope. Huh? The video is crazy. The whale. Sounds like you then, at college, Did Zach. you see they have two angles? How crazy is it? Who was filming the wide angle? That made the whole thing sus, unfortunately. Is that just... Oh, what? and by the way, here's another camera shot. What? <laughs> That's not how this works. When you go wide like that... You realize they just crossed paths at the wrong time. Yeah. That, that whale saying the same, whoa, I just ran into a human. He said the quote I liked was, I saw the head come, I saw the head come out, then I saw the rest of the body come out, then I saw the whole thing above me. And about that state, I got to be honest, I thought I was in trouble. Get into play-by-play. Hits every note there. Yeah. Tell me about the others, the more sports. Jimmy and more sports, college football season still underway. And your Air Force Academy ranked, they were playing Colorado State. Uh, unfortunately, Air Force was fighting the people of Colorado as well because we've got a penalty for fans throwing snowballs on the field. And isn't this brought to us by... DraftKings. Oh, this reminds me of Zach. Um, I initially jumped Australian, down. Zach. <laughs> that looks like a dog wiener, huh? It's a foreskin joke. It's a lot of foreskin and a little tip. You tie it up. Yeah. Why'd you say yeah like that? He knew the, he knew the reference. Wait, don't move yet. I think you're going to like my angle. Okay, I'll send that through. Okay, so first call. You can't throw a bunch of snowballs at players. Will you please, will the audience please... Refrain from throwing snowballs. Uh, kind of soft in general. Depends on the type of snow. We're playing football, right? Depends on the type We're of playing snow. football. You're looking for home field advantage. Jim, you jumped uh, to the militaristic side of this. Why wouldn't you have your own side, throw some more snowballs, get some more penalties? Why wouldn't the Air Force just be like, yo, go dress in the other clothes and peg us with snowballs? Zach, after he goes swimming. I was in the pool! Um, are the refs? Watching? Yeah. Why are Does the refs a watching? ref now have to watch the fans to see who's throwing snowballs? Are they watching the, the sideline? The malarkey. Yeah. And I don't bleep that. And I don't f*** that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Getting hot in this room. Not as hot as this. Not sports. The not sports is troubling. A tortoise was found three years ago. Someone was posting about losing a tortoise. Turns out it is the same tortoise, Jake. In 2020, these people posted, hey, our 60 pound tortoise got out. And there's a picture of the dog who I was like, oh, that dog's sad. That dog's sad that the, the tortoise exists. Not that it got lost. The tortoise has been living on its own for three and a half years. And now it's, it's back to captivity with these owners who didn't even give it a name. You know what this kind of reeks of? They named it something inappropriate and they didn't want to share. Because you have to name it. You didn't you have, have, to have a it. tortoise and not name yep. it. Yep. So I don't know. I feel bad for the tortoise. It was living life on its own. And now it's back with the dog who clearly hates it. A lot of dangerous assumptions. <laughs> that dog hates that turtle. I mean, come on. We play a lot of GeoGuessr with Zach. Dos Equis. Add. That's two Equis. And yeah, if you showed the picture of the dog, the tortoise, the tires in the corner of that house, you'd say, Florida. Mm-hmm. Geoguest. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Who do you want to give it to? Last week? Talking Baseball hit a 100,000 subscribers, so that's an accomplishment. You want to give it to Trevor? Oh, I kind of like that, though. Butter him up a little bit before we give him the work. Congrats to Trevor Poole. Olivia. And shaved his face for the first time, so he's feeling a bit kind of oh, self-conscious. Oh, yeah, he kind of needs it. So he needs it, yeah. Trying to be Paul Rudd for Halloween. Too tall. No yeah. way. Zach could be Paul Rudd. Ends with the OK Go music video on the treadmill, Zach? <laughs> Get copyrighted. That'd be copyright. <laughs> that was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB, D-U-M-B. Bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Both. I think both's happening at the same time. Sometimes there just aren't enough rocks. You want us to do this is the best. You take this is those? the best way to do it. <sighs> Where'd it go? Oh, that one got up. You want us to keep doing this? That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Maybe you got to come around it. No, definitely not. Oh, backhand it. Backhander. Don't use that one, Zach. Wait, Zach, maybe use this. No, it's a backhand float situation. See? Crumple it up. That was like a dead bird. You, 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 you ought to know.